The urge to pee is a sophisticated communication between your bladder and your brain. And it's a process that's as fascinating as it is essential. Imagine your bladder as a muscular reservoir that gradually fills up with urine. Now this process is normal and constant. But once your bladder reaches a certain capacity, it sends signals to your brain triggering the urge to pee. The brain then evaluates the urgency of the situation considering factors like your current activity, location, and the availability of a restroom. Now what's crucial to understand here is that this process is finely tuned to maintain a balance. It's a dynamic interplay between your bladder's capacity, the signals from your nerves, and your brain's decision making. So when you hold in your pee, it's not just a matter of putting off a bathroom break, you're essentially challenging the intricate communication network that ensures your bladder functions optimally. It's like hitting snooze on an alarm. Eventually, it'll catch up with you and your body will demand attention to address the urgency it's been signaling. Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll discuss what happens to your body when you hold your pee. Trust me, it's not just a matter of inconvenience, there's a whole symphony of physiological events going on inside you. Your bladder stretches. Your bladder, this elastic muscular organ, is designed to expand and contract, adapting to the varying volumes of urine it holds. When you consistently hold in your pee, you subject your bladder to overstretching. Imagine blowing up a balloon beyond its recommended size. It might not burst immediately, but over time the structure integrity weakens. Similarly, the constant stretching of your bladder walls can lead to decreased elasticity. As your bladder stretches beyond its usual capacity, it sends a signal to your brain indicating that it's time to release urine. However, if you repeatedly resist this urge, you're essentially training your bladder to hold larger amounts of urine than it should. This overstretching can contribute to a loss of muscle tone in the bladder walls, potentially impacting its ability to contract effectively. Increased risk for infection. Your urinary tract, a system responsible for the production and excretion of urine, has its own defense mechanisms to keep bacteria at bay. One of these mechanisms is the regular flushing out of bacteria when you urinate. When you intentionally delay emptying your bladder, you disrupt this natural cleansing process. Bacteria that would normally be expelled during urination can linger and multiply, creating an environment ripe for infection. The urethra, bladder, and even the kidneys can become vulnerable to bacterial invasion. Now, UTIs aren't just a minor inconvenience, they can be uncomfortable, causing symptoms like pain and burning during urination, an increased urge to pee, and even lower abdominal pain. If left untreated, a UTI can progress and potentially lead to more serious complications, including kidney infections. So that extra minute or two of holding in your pee to finish a task or complete a meeting might seem harmless in the moment, but the long-term consequences could involve discomfort and health complications. It's a stark reminder that our bodies are finely tuned systems, and even seemingly small decisions can have significant repercussions. Kidney Stress the kidneys play a crucial role in maintaining your body's balance of fluids and electrolytes, ensuring everything runs smoothly. When you consistently delay trips to the restroom, your kidneys bear the brunt of the burden. Picture this, every time you hold in your pee, your kidneys continue their relentless task of filtering toxins from your blood, even when your bladder is sending signals that it's reached its limit. This prolonged effort can lead to increased stress on your kidneys. They're working overtime to maintain the delicate equilibrium required for optimal bodily function. The potential consequences of this strain may include decreased kidney function over time. Pelvic floor strain. Another player in this intricate dance is the pelvic floor, a group of muscles that supports your bladder and other pelvic organs. Holding in your pee can strain these muscles, potentially leading to pelvic floor dysfunction. For those who consistently hold it in, these muscles may weaken over time, contributing to issues such as urinary incontinence. So while you might be avoiding a trip to the restroom in the short term, the long-term impact on your pelvic floor health is something to consider. Now, am I suggesting that you should drop everything and run to the restroom every time nature calls? Calls? Not necessarily. Our bodies are designed with a remarkable ability to adapt, and occasional instances of holding in your pee are unlikely to cause significant harm. As always, the key is balance and awareness. Your body is an incredible machine, and understanding its signals is crucial for maintaining optimal health. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share it to someone who holds their pee. See you in the next video!